Hi, I'm Danny DeLillo with New Filmmakers in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. We're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles Showroom in West Hollywood, and I'm here with Dawn Higginbotham with her movie, The Usual. Let's take a look at a clip. In the 1920s, the great American word was prosperity. The great big spree, the jazz age, is over. Now there is a new word, depression. If you could spare something, anything at all. My wife is sick. I'm a very proud man. You're not too proud to ask for an honest, hardworking man's money, I see. But around the corners wind the lengthening bread lines, and a whole new class of citizens appears in American society. The new poor. These hoodlums will steal you blind if you're not careful. I'm sure you're right, dear. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Ford. Good evening, Ray. Jimmy, we'll see you to your table. Wonderful. Jimmy! You're a good man, George. But you need to stop rescuing every stray that you run across. Let's just forget it and try to enjoy our evening, shall we? Dawn, it's a pleasure to have you here with us today. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Tell us about your film, The Usual. Uh, the Usual is a period piece set in the 1930s, uh, paralleling the Great Depression to kind of the uncertain economic times of today. Where was your inspiration for making the movie? I just, there was a lot of uh, negative news in the news, which is, I think, pretty normal. Um, and I just felt like I wanted to say something positive, put a good message out there. Not trying to save the world, just wanted to tell One a happy story. One right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that the film was so beautifully shot. How did you capture that as a director? Do you have that in mind of how you wanted to portray it? I, um, I knew that I wanted the coloring, the, um, the art direction. Uh, I knew exactly what I wanted visually. I just needed someone to help me get there. And Daron Keep, my cinematographer, is incredible. Uh, recommend anyone use him. Um, he is, uh, he's really brilliant. And he was able to get a lot of that look in camera. Um, we used the Canon C300, which was pretty remarkable that he was able to, to get that quality with that camera, so I was really happy with that. How did you find the cast of that film? Because they were so, they had such intriguing characters and really caught the kind of periodic kind of feel about it as well. Well, I knew who I wanted for uh, Mrs. Ford mm -hmm. immediately, and I went to my friend Renee O'Connor, who I've worked with several times. Uh, we've done a couple of projects together, and I knew that she was perfect for this and that she could capture the sensibility of, of Mrs. Ford and I, um, I begged her to do it <laughs> and she was kind enough to, uh, to jump in and say yes and, and also jump in as a producer on the film as well. And with McKinsey, um, he actually came in a couple of days before we shot, which was very scary and <laughs> very gracious of him and he stepped right into the role and just really understood what I wanted. and was such a gem to work with. I really, really had a great time with Mackenzie and Russell Sams and uh, Raymond O'Connor and everybody was just really understood that era. What was it like to take on three heads as a writer, director and a producer? I mean, that's quite an amazing task. Well, um, the uh, writing part was fairly straightforward. I, I knew what I wanted to say. Um, the uh, producing part was, I think, the most challenging because I knew the budget that I had to work with and it was pretty minimal for what I needed to pull off. I needed wardrobe, I needed set design, I needed um, automobiles, you know, from the period. And um, I, I thought it was a challenge, but it was also very fun to try and make that happen. And when we were able to pull it off, I, I was really excited. As the director, I was very excited <laughs> to be able to have those things to work with. And speaking of challenges, what was your biggest challenge making this movie? Oh, the biggest challenge, I think, was probably um, the location and just pulling everything together. We had to shoot this in one night. We had uh, very minimal time to film in this. one night? Wow. Yes. So we had um, five hours at one location and five hours at another location. So uh, <laughs> I don't know how you did that. That's amazing. Well, we had one shot in the film where we literally had 15 minutes to grab the shot. And it was hectic and chaotic, but we got it and we moved on to the next one. <laughs> Studios, give her a job. If she can do, you know, <laughs> one, one ticket, you know, 15 minutes and to do one scene, that's amazing. That's phenomenal. Um, yeah. Now, I mean, it's really amazing. Um, 
I was so captured by the set and and the you know the the automobiles and the things that you had to make it so so like you were feeling like you're in the period. Um, who who were you working with to to, to kind of capture that? Well, our, our locations came about, uh, our first location fell into place was the Smokehouse mm -hmm. in Burbank. And they were so gracious and opened their doors to us and pretty much gave us free reign of the, of the restaurant. And thank God, because I, I think that saved our production. And, mm -hmm. and then um, Universal Studios theme park, uh -huh. not the back lot, but the theme park uh, came through for us two days before the shoot. And we had lost one of our locations had fallen through, which happens. Um, but it always seems to happen right before the shoot. And they jumped in last minute and helped us out. And the street that they let us use was so perfect for what we needed. And I think they're now revamping it to be the Harry Potter set. Oh, really? So it worked perfectly for, you know, being this sort of 1930s-esque yeah. look to it. So it was great. That's amazing. And what's it like when you just work so hard on making the movie to have your film selected for new filmmakers? Oh, it's such a great feeling. It, it was such an honor to be selected for new filmmakers. I've been at the festival before as a producer, mm -hmm. but this is my f directorial debut. Oh, and, wow. Uh, so it was really exciting to be asked to come back as a director. Um, I had a feature film here a few years ago that was um, that I produced with uh, my partner at Cordova Pictures. And it was called Off the Ledge. And we had such a great time at New Filmmakers. So it was really great to come back with the usual. Well, it's amazing that you're alum for the second time round. <laughs> um, so we've got lots more movies with Dawn, which is fantastic. Um, what's next for you, Dawn? I'm attached to direct a feature film. Fantastic. And I'm very excited about that. It's for Mad Galaxy Productions. And I can't say too much about it because it's top secret Shh. at the moment. Uh, but it's a kind of a graphic novel-esque kind of project, very stylized. And I'm developing several projects for my company, Morning Person Pictures Pro Productions. Morning Person Pictures Productions, can we, where can we find that, is that? Um, it is, well, morningpersonpictures.com. And Great. we've got several, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have uh, several projects in uh, development at the moment, so. So the project you just mentioned, we heard it here first, right? Yes. Oh, exclusive, <laughs> love it. Thank you so much, Dawn, for joining us and congratulations on your movie. Thank you. Thank you.